Baldy, uh, take it away. <laughs> I mean, this man needs no introduction. It's Anthony Munoz. And anybody that follows the game of football, like there's just some iconic players that have played this game for a long time like you did, the left tackle, everybody that's out there right now, they're still looking up and looking at old Anthony Munoz tape. Wow, well, you're kind. Uh, well, I mean. You're very kind. But, but there, was, there, was, there was a time when this, you were, there was, Ogden came after you, there was Trent Williams in this Super yeah. Bowl. Nobody's ever guaranteed these Super Bowls, right? That's let's right. Let's go, like, let's talk about Trent Williams, because he's been really the gold standard, oh, I my think, goodness. for a long time in his business. Long time, getting better even at, a, you know, mid-30s. But, you know, like, I, like just watching Trent, I know you study him. Um, I always say this, Anthony, like, backside blocks and cutoff blocks are as important as the frontside blocks. His ability to cut off the backside yeah. is, is second to none that's anybody that's ever played this game. You're, you're right. You see, so many guys get upset when they're not running the ball to your side. Yeah. But you're right. Backside, anytime they ran the ball away from me, I didn't get mad because I knew the backside blocks were just as important. And to watch Trent navigate that backside, I mean, it's beautiful. So you, you look at, uh, I, I, I know the trenches are something that doesn't get a lot of attention. Right. But this game is going to be decided in the trenches. I mean, like, you look at how, you know, from the, from the time that Kansas City lost the Super Bowl and how quickly they fixed their offensive line. Yeah. Trey, you know, Creed Humphrey, Trey Smith, Joe Tooney. Like, they knew what it took, and they did it. Some teams can't ever fix their offensive line. Man. You're right. One off season. And, you know, going back to that game when they, the Buccaneers, I mean, yeah. got after them, I was picking the Chiefs early on, and then also my buddies are like, I said, no. Not the Chiefs now. And they're like, well, how'd you switch so quick? I said, look at their offensive line. Yeah. They just lost two key linemen. They had a lot of backups in their answer. That's right. And all of a sudden, Mahomes is running for his life. But it starts up front. I mean, you can throw the ball for four or 5,000 yards. You can run the ball. But if you don't have the guys up front keeping your quarterback upright and letting the guys you know, gain the line of scrimmage on the run, long day. Anthony, I'm going to go technique with here, but I mean, I, we're going to just put our fingers out through. Might as well just do it. Like, just get it over with here, Ant. Like, they want to see it. Let's give it to them. That's right. right. I mean, this happens because we were big punchers, Anthony. Right. We wanted to get our hands inside, our thumbs up. Like, That's what right. happens when you get your hands inside and your thumbs up? It locks the elbow. Elbow, you use your lats. Yeah. We're like this, you, you don't have any... There's no, that's not a piece of steel. That's right. But here that's you lock it in. You got your lat. You got the best part of your hand to punch. Yeah. And sometimes you get the fingers and yeah, sometimes <laughs> it, 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 get it mangled a little bit. But you're right. I mean, the punch, that's all we worked on. Run and pass. It was punch, punch, punch. You know, I, we were talking before you came on. And, you know, sometimes these offense line coaches don't get a lot of attention. It's the head coach which, and the coordinators. It's fine. But you had a chance to play for one of the great offensive line coaches, yeah. Jim McAnally, the mouth. My uh, he came in the same. He was there right when you got drafted. Yeah. Had him the whole time, Anthony. What did he? What? How did he help you become the player that you became? So first of all, I got to give Hudson Houck. You know that name, yeah, sure. Hudson was my line coach at USC. USC. Coming out eighty, we were on the cutting edge, using hands, punching. Mm -hmm. So he really helped build that foundation. But then McNally took it to another level. Yeah. Jimmy was all about technique. Yeah. We could get graded. You could block your guy, but then you might get off on your technique. And it's like, well, I blocked the guy, but you didn't use the right technique. So we had a half an hour walkthrough before every practice, preseason, regular yep. season, playoff. And it was all about technique, 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 balance. Yep. And he hands would laugh. Hands and feet, hands oh, and feet. Exactly. And we were talking off air. Guys get in trouble holding and stuff when they don't move their feet. They if get you get stuck. your hands on a guy, move the feet, yeah. and it's the less chance of getting the holding call. It's all about the hands, the feet. And to me, the thing I stressed with young guys, eyes, eye intensity. If you can't see something, you can't block it. Wow. So my eyes are going to be just like lasers. Intent. Pick a target, not the chest, yeah. small target. But keep those eyes. After a game, I might not know what you look like because I don't want to see your face. I want to see that target. You just want to hit the target. Yeah. See a little, see a lot. Yep. Nancy, we could talk this technique all the time. We yeah, always exactly. do. Yeah, it always right. comes exactly. down to it. But uh, we, we, I want to get to the Anthony Munoz Foundation. Mm -hmm. What you're doing right now, Anthony, because I know it's, it's, it's important stuff. It really is. You know, after my career, I established the Anthony Munoz Foundation to create an opportunity for the tri-state area to impact young people mentally, physically, and spiritually. Mm -hmm. This will be our 23rd year. Uh, we work with probably 25 to 3,000 kids a year, everything from leadership 
education, scholarships, uh, character, uh, eight programs, K through. Building well-rounded men. Exactly. You know, we teach them a little football in some of the camps, mm -hmm. but we're also working on character and team building. We have mentoring programs. We have leadership seminars. We have, so we kind of, you're right, the entire person, and I'm thankful that we've built an amazing team to be able to impact these young people. Fantastic stuff. Tell me about the Athletes in Action breakfast here, Anthony. So, you know, I'm, it was 44 years ago when I was drafted, <laughs> and one of the first calls I made. older, Anthony? Uh, <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> I, I think I'm much older than you. <laughs> But one of the first calls I made to Cincinnati when I got drafted was to a staff that was working with Athletes in Action. I wanted to plug in right away to a yeah. Bible study. Mm -hmm. So I've had a 44-year uh, relationship with Athletes in Action. Well, coming up for the 36th year, they're having the Athletes in Action Super Bowl breakfast. Well, they'll present the Bart Starr Award. Wow. Think about that, Bart Starr. Yeah. First two Super Bowl winner, a man of character, a man of faith. Yep. I mean, Throughout his whole life. Exactly. So I was fortunate enough to win that back a few years ago, but Micah, Minka Fitzpatrick will win it Saturday. Defensive oh, fantastic. Back for the Steelers. You have Tony Dungy there, Mike Singletary, Tomlin's going to be there. You have a variety of coaches and former players and present day players, and it's just a great breakfast. It's over at Caesar Saturday morning. Men of real character, Anthony. Uh, that, Men of character. To me, that's, you know, you can be a great athlete, but if you're doing it right, you have great work ethic, you have character integrity. I mean, there's over the rest of your life. It really does. It really Anthony, does. they want to see it one more time. We'll just do it. Like, this is just uh, the, the badge of courage <laughs> that we wear every day. Uh, Andrew, you can take it away from here. We've got more technique to talk about right yeah, now. I, I can't. Mine doesn't do that. <laughs> your hand looks good, yeah, Andrew. Mine. <laughs> no, Thank don't you, try. Don't yeah. yeah. try. No, you don't want Maybe that. for the next segment, we'll see if we can get something going. Anthony Munoz, Brian right, Baldinger. Buddy. Fun stuff, guys.